Hello and welcome to highlights of the sixth and penultimate stage of La Vuelta Femenina. 106.1 kilometers today from Casta Urdiales to Laredo. Two category two climbs along the routes, one of 6.4 kilometers and one of 8.2. As we headed towards the first of them though, Movistar had put the hammer down. And at this point, the red jersey of Damie Vollering, who only had a five second advantage over Van Vluten going into the day, was sitting a minute and 16 seconds down. She did have Neve Fisher Black and Blanca Vass with her at that point. On to the Alto Fuente de la Varas, Van Vluten was shredding the group and she would take it down to a really select front few. Guy Raelini, Mavi Garcia, Rihanna Marcus, Erica Magnaldi, Juliette Labousse and Evita Music, the only riders able to stay with her at that point. Vollering was really on the defensive and picking off groups in front of her. Just before the K to go, Garcia was dropped from the group in front. She would link up with third placed overall Rihanna Marcus. Cresting the summit, Van Vluten, Raelini, Musique, Labousse and Magnaldi Nowly started the descent. They had the intermediate sprint with 32.3 kilometers to go. It was a minute and 45 seconds at this point. Into the intermediate sprint point, Van Vluten went for the seconds. Labus, Magnaldi, Muzik, and Realini looked at her, and we know historically. Don't give Annemiek van Vluten any meters. And she capitalized on it straight away. On to the final climb. And only Guy Realini made it up to the world's champion. And the pocket rocket Italian, just 21 years old, did the right thing. She just latched herself onto the wheel of Annemiek van Vluten. Vollering would make it up to a group that contained her teammate, Marlen Reusser. And they were really now on the chase. We have an absolute monster of a stage to come on the final day. So for SD Works and Vollering, it was now a battle of limiting their losses. The chasing group of Labus, Magnaudi and Musique would never see the front two again. Cresting the summit of the final climb of the day, there was 21.9 kilometers to go into Laredo. When we were here in 2022 for the Ceratizit Challenge by La Vuelta on day two, Van Vluten had won alone ahead of Elisa Longa Borghini and set up victory in that five day race. Now, seven days in total, moving to May, Van Vluten was really on a charge. In the chasing group, though, Vollering was trying to encourage other teams and other riders to contribute to the chase. Interestingly, she managed to do so, enlisting the help of Canyon Schramm with Cassia Nuvia Doma in the group and DSM's Juliette Labousse. Through the Flam Rouge with one kilometre to go, and it came down to the sprint between Van Vluten and Guy Realini, the 21 year old hunting for her first World Tour victory. Van Vluten looking for win number 99. It came down to a photo finish in the throw to the line. The chasing group behind was being led out by FDJ Suez and Marta Cavalli. Los Aragast would be the rider that would lead home the group sprint behind just ahead of Sylvia Persico with Damie Vollering crossing the line in the red jersey. Gaia Realini was awarded the stage victory. The celebrations all round for the Trek Sega Fredo team. The photo finish would go backwards and forwards between the Commissaires. Initially, Guy Realini was awarded the stage. Annemiek van Vluten would then be presented on the podium as the stage winner, and then it was re-awarded to Guy Realini. So there is your top 10. Guy Realini taking the stage. Annemiek van Vluten takes over in the red jersey of race leader with one stage to go. And what a stage it is. 111 to Damie Vollering, 123 back to Marcus. And you are not going to want to miss this. One of the most historic climbs in La Vuelta, 93.7 kilometers tomorrow up to the summit of Lagos de Copadonga. It's 12 and a half kilometers. It averages 6.9%, but that is the understatement of the year. It is an absolute beast. Make sure you join us for live coverage on GCN Plus and check out the highlights tomorrow. This one is going to go right down to the wire.